What's up my toxic gamers? Today we got a ton of drama to talk about. Of course, I'm not talking about the drama like of Dr. Disrespect or woke stuff here, woke stuff there because for the past week, man, I'm telling you, I swear to God, bro. I, I wish I could say psych, bro. I wish and today I still wish that I could say psych right now because, uh, you know, today we're talking about the Sony Ponies and the Xbox drama, the harmless drama, but the news here is wilder than Johnny Sins movies. Like this video if you just want good games, man. Dislike the video if you don't want good games. <laughs> What's up, Gabe? You know guy here, and today we're talking about PlayStation because Sony okay. has just taken the first secret steps to stopping production of all physical games. There is about to be nothing printed on a disc. No new no. CDs, no new music, no Ooh. new Blu-ray movies, and of course, no what? PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5 games actually coming on real physical boxes anymore. What? And the death of physical media. This all digital future. It's bizarre that it's finally here, but let's discuss. Okay. Hi, hope you're having a great day. If you c well, I after this news, I don't think I'm gonna have a great day, bro. Like, what do you mean, bro? Like, please you give this video a like and subscribe oh, okay. if yeah. you haven't already. So let's see if we can get this video to like 2,000 likes to sort of show our support. I, I feel like there's this weird part of the internet where people are still buying. Uh, Sony will cut 250 jobs from its recordable media business key manufacturing hub amid a decline in demand for traditional storage formats and will gradually cease production of optical disc storage oh, shit. Oh. media products, including Blu-ray discs, according to sources. No way! No way! Well, kind of saw this coming, but still no way! Now, honestly, though, uh, yeah, holy crap. Like, what? 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 games people are still like actually supporting the art and experiences they enjoy but the amount of sales for physical games is clearly going down the yeah, people yeah, that yeah. are actually pre-ordering stuff playing stuff in 2022 94 percent of all gaming sales were sales were digital i refuse to believe that oh 94 if you said something like uh let's just say 64 percent i would believe it yeah okay consoles had 70 okay so this gotta be now all of gaming sales they're saying had 72% digital sales. Well, one thing is for certain, yes, the digital gaming sales are rising, absolutely. And when you think about gaming on PC, generally speaking, or I guess, like, all the new games, right, are, are digital. Like, for crying out loud, I mean, if you go buy a new PC, it's not even gonna, it's not even gonna come out with a disk drive. So yeah, this is the future we're going. This is something that we talked about previously as well. It's not a good thing. It's not a thing to celebrate. Right, uh, we, we still want discs, we want physical media, absolutely, but generally speaking, mo most people uh, do uh, do buy games uh, digitally. Now, I, I don't believe 94% of all gaming sales were digital, that's the part I don't believe. One in the comments, if you still buy the games physical, two in the comments, if not, be honest though, be honest. Because I feel like that even if you're somebody that buys the game digitally, you know the repercussion of it, and uh, you, you would still prefer physical, but I guess for the convenience, you're like, ah, oh, whatever, this time I'll buy digitally, next time I'll buy physical, but you keep saying that, so you almost like, every single time you just go ahead and you buy games digitally, you're like, next time I'll buy physical, next time I'll buy physical. Uh, I'll be honest, from my front, because I do YouTube and whatnot, uh, and, and I want to be able to like stream at midnight or day one whenever a new game hits, yeah, I would buy it digitally, but I don't want to though. I don't want to. If you were giving me the option to uh, get fiscal or digital, I would 110% go with fiscal. Fiscal is always better because you can give it to your friends, okay? You can borrow it and you can always sell it too, in a way. You're not going to get all the money out of it, but you can sell it, right? Buying microtransactions or just spending hundreds of dollars on V-Bucks, a huge chunk of the gaming industry is definitely going all digital. And it's okay, that part, if you're gonna count in the microtransactions too, okay, well, yeah, of course, you cannot buy microtransactions physically. Sucks to see that because clearly, Sony sees the trend. So, as of about 30 minutes ago, this just came out, people are incredibly pissed. Sony is firing 250 people from its recordable media business, which essentially means the people that actually make the discs, that print stuff. And I understand the fact that this is an expensive endeavor. They're trying to gradually cease production, production. of optical disc whoa, storage whoa. media products, <laughs> including Blu-rays, according to sources. Yo, pump the brakes, Sony! What the hell? What the hell? Yo, Phil Spencer is gonna look at it and Phil Spencer is gonna be like, bro, like, bro, bro. <laughs> we gotta do that too, bro. And then what? Then you're gonna have no physical games ever. Right? Like, what the actual hell, bro? What, 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 what are we doing here? 
Yo, we need the Sony ponies, we need the Xbox Andes, we need to come together as one, and we gotta say no to this bull squash, dog. We're gonna say no to, we gotta say no to this bull squash. Bro. Now, what this means is that Sony realized that it is a pricey thing to have actual warehouses, truck drivers that are shipping, you know, huge chunks of hundreds of DVD discs to the stores to sell you a copy of, you know, Spider-Man on PlayStation 5. That is an extra cost that Sony and Xbox have been trying to find a way to dump. You're still gonna source those copies? covers from China <laughs> you're still gonna source those like cover for the games from China it's gonna be a couple of pennies bro what the actual hell <laughs> what the actual hell what are you guys doing right now bro what the hell are you guys doing in the game now but it honestly does make a lot of sense in a way when you when you logically think about it from the Sony perspective I guess they're all about making the money so yeah you know truck drivers oh absolutely like shipping the game uh, games out and sometimes don't heist happen on the road where you know so and so sees, sees a gaming truck move and they're like okay let me go ahead and shoot up on a gaming truck and get like all the physical copies out and i'm gonna go ahead and start selling those games as well and make the moolah yeah sometimes those stories happen very infrequent but i guess uh, they don't want to be printing this because it costs money they don't want to have covers uh, and the, the boxes for it because it costs money and shipping the games to the warehouse costs money digital is basically the the, the their way right because they can always update the games doesn't cost them money i guess it costs them money to of course uh pay their workers to develop those updates but of course like physical or digital that's something that they gotta do regardless right like they, they gotta do that regardless so selling the games digitally that's just uh insane profit right there insane profit God, they've definitely been trying absolutely sad absolutely sad it's one of those things you're gonna own nothing but live happy and to go more and more digital that's why you're seeing the all digital playstation 5 there's multiple now all digital xboxes but it's still bizarre to see this day is really arriving because i do personally love i'm buying games it's still cool to me to have a real box because yeah i yeah, like yeah. the idea that yeah. i can actually lend you a game i have a very big playstation 5 and playstation 4 collection and i've always appreciated the fact that like when i was a kid bro you never lent me a game ever bro like what, what are we talking about bro like hey bro like what like what like oh no i, I get it i get this, the point that he's making i mean bro. because i was just so broke each kid in the neighborhood had like two games and we'd all swap so if you had 20 mm. friends you had a library of 40 playable games and I know yeah. that some people down here in the comments... I, I did that with my friends. Like, we would borrow games uh, to each other. We would go to each other's uh, houses and play games. We would bring our controllers over, play SmackDown versus Raw. Oh, yeah, man, I miss those days. I, I miss the days of, like, uh, giving games to my friends and, and sometimes asking games from them as well so I could play. Oh, yeah, it was amazing, bro. Section are going to basically say, you own nothing and you'll like it. And I see this sentiment a lot because it is technically what these companies want. If you actually open up the disc, if you actually look at the fine print on anything you purchase, you don't really actually own it. Like, it's very bizarre, but it actually says on every single PlayStation or Xbox game or anything, it says, yeah, hey, internet, Sony huh? owns this disc, they own the data, they own everything. You're simply allowed to play it. But even if that is the case, technically, I feel like there is still... You are allowed to play it, okay? You're a peasant, you're a slave. Look at me, huh? I'm giving you, I'm giving you the chance to play my amazing game. That's what they're doing, bro. Like, get mama, bruh. Get mama, bruh. Still this physical ownership to the fact that you cannot take it back. Like, I can play this copy of God of War as many times as I want. I can sell it on eBay. I can customize the box. I can do whatever I want with it technically forever as long as I have a PlayStation 4 that's able to play it. But these companies have clearly been pushing for the idea of making it Yay. so that you only own stuff as long as they allow it. Stupid decision. I literally hate using limited run for buying physical games. This sentiment I see constantly because I, I appreciate limited run for taking games that have no physical version and making a copy of the game. But limited run is very slow. They are very ineffective. If you've ever actually bought stuff, there are times where you can pre-order a game on limited run and it takes... Right over a year to come out like it takes over a year for them to physically ship it to you so pretty much every time ever that i bought a limited run game i buy a digital version of it and then limited run pre-order it and then i get the physical disc way after i finished it so no matter what they're getting double the sales it, it's bizarre to me that we're definitely coming to the spot where collecting physical media is becoming a lost art the idea of actually being able to just access the stuff you enjoy at any time yeah, I imagine people that take their like photos that close, they must be like this, right? Like they must be like <laughs> 
they, they must be like that, bro. Oh, the ability to have not just like a wall of games, the ability to go back and play stuff is becoming increasingly archaic. And I feel like this is just so bizarre to me to see this change coming. I do see some people cheering this on. Uh, Kareem here, he's like a big Xbox fanboy. He is a big champion for Xbox Game Pass, and he likes the idea that I have seen some people say that when physical media finally dies, we'll see a new revolution of price points. Now, I want to explain what this means. And uh, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, I guess uh, if you mean as in the prices will go down, oh, absolutely not. They're going to stay as is. And the, yeah, but, but if you mean the price is going to go up, yep, that's what I believe. The prices are going to go up already. These suckers would give you early access. Uh, it's early access. It's not even early access. Uh, they're delaying the game on purpose uh, by three days or maybe even a week. And uh, then then it's going to cost you 70 bucks. But if you want to buy the game day one, which they call early access, it's going to be $100. We're seeing Ubisoft do it now with Star Wars, with Assassin's Creed as well, Assassin's Creed Shadows, and uh, Star. Uh, I believe um, other, other projects, other games have done it too. Starfield. Starfield has done it too. There have been other games that have done it too uh, yeah so they're doing it price is gonna go up and then it's all about profit they're just trying to increase the profit they're just trying to squeeze our wallets dry as much as possible with in-game microtransactions uh, thinking about ea was thinking about adding ads as well so they're yeah like what the, what the actual hell it's all uh, at the end of the day it's about money i mean it always has been about money but now it's like they're telling us it's about money you know, back then it was like, okay, yeah, it's about money, but guys, like, keep it, keep it, you know, keep it quiet, brother, keep it low, brother, keep it low here, man, we don't want the gamers to know it's all about money, but now it's like, they're screaming, they're screaming, and they're, they want you to know it's all about money. And why I disagree with it, but the current sentiment is that the idea of $70 games exists because there is this physical thing to it that if you're selling a physical item that means you got to be able to ship it to Walmart Walmart's going to take a cut that means if you're selling it you want to make it a point to sell it for as high as possible so that people will buy it and you get as much as possible even after paying the guy who's packing the box and shipping the case and printing the disc you got to make that money back but the idea is that if games go fully all digital that means they're able to do stuff cheaper up front you can have different styles of price point instead of every game being 60 bucks or 70 bucks we'll see more stuff that's 25 dollars or 32 dollars and stuff like that because it doesn't necessarily just come down to okay how many people gotta i can see certain games very few games do uh come out like that way i guess helldivers prime example not sure if helldivers had uh has a physical version i don't think it has but but the triple a games the games that are already 70 dollars make no mistake they're gonna stay 70 dollars no matter what they're even gonna go as, uh, up to 80 dollars hundred dollars and this is something that i saw coming of course uh, i'm sure like it's not a rocket science uh, uh, it's not rocket science a, a lot of you already saw this coming too but of course i i guess people were caught off guard and people are being caught off guard right now because uh, a lot of people do believe it's a little far away but i think it's near uh right now judging and looking at this it, it feels near to get paid out before I can start breaking even on my investment. My problem is that I just don't believe this is going to happen. Like, a lot yeah, of the executives no. at the top, a lot of these game companies, they're not even really gamers, you know? They're people that don't really understand even when their games are coming out or, or what they're all about. They're kind of just seeing it as, like, investments and pocketbooks and ROI and stuff like that. My fear is the fact that when physical games go away, I'm afraid this stuff's going to stay full price forever. Like, or 100% or... oh, it's going to stay like that. The AAA games that are already $70, like, I'm, like I've been saying, y you think they're going to lower it? Yeah, well, what? You think they're going to lower it? What the hell? They're not going to lower it. They're not going to lower it. They're only going to increase it in the future. Stay full price for years and years and years into the future. My, my terror is the idea that, like, games typically get cheaper to combat the resale market of, like, okay, if, if people are selling it for $40 on eBay, if we sell it for $40, then they'll keep buying it from us instead of going to the used market. My fear is that stuff is all digital. There's nobody to compete with. You can keep every game at 80 bucks forever, and what are you going to do? It's either buy it. Damn, he's, all, he's already thinking about 80 bucks, man. <laughs> what the actual hell? Like, he's saying $80 like every game right now is $80. It's 70 USD, bro. Don't make it any USD. Don't make it any USD. Even though some games are doing early access, uh, the the fake delayed version, right? Like I was saying, like I've been saying, hundred dollars for early access, seventy dollars for the delayed version. Buy it or don't buy it. It's not like you have any other competition. God, look at this. 
are we going to talk about Sony laying people off, or is this only something we talk about when Microsoft does it? I mean, yes, Microsoft definitely fires a lot of people. A lot of people discuss the fact that Microsoft has done multiple yeah. rounds of major layoffs, but this feels... We, we did talk about that, right? Like, uh, we talked about <laughs> Xbox like crazy. I guess now it's time that we talk about the PlayStation, right? Because both of these seconds, uh, both of these companies always have, like, round one, round two, and round three. And then it's like a uno reversal then it's like the other team they give the chance playstation give the chance to xbox to f up then xbox is like we have f up enough now it's your turn and then sony's like okay let me f up a little bit more remember the hell 2 situation yeah 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 and yeah I, it, it never stops feels something separate this feels super weird because to me uh, they're outsourcing physical discs. Okay, this person clearly doesn't really fully understand it. Jobs lost are always bad, but this isn't the doom of physical media. Um, I right. disagree with this person. More stores are actually removing physical games. Uh, Best Buy no longer sells physical games. Their sections are completely empty. I think there's a rumor that the uh, European store game is thinking about stopping selling physical games, which is still just so bizarre. This is good to be back with the Xbox store closing. God, yeah, that's right. The Xbox store is also closing. I want to make a video about this separately no! because I'm no, oh, shit. Oh. no. Okay, so Xbox 360, yo. But but still though, still though, Xbox man, Xbox 360 and PlayStation three days hands down were the best days ever, bro. I, I I guess like uh, I'll be like what if I'm alive uh, for 70 years, uh, I'll be 70 and thinking about that time, bro. Yeah, 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 like how I came from uh, school and played all day, you know, after that. I remember like Black Ops 1 Ascension, right? Like the Uncharted franchise, the God of Wars, bruh. You know, the PSP days, the Chains of Olympus, man. I was big on that too, man. The Soulcoms, man. Little Big Planet, man. The PlayStation Home itself, man. You know, uh, it, it was life was simple, man. Life was simple. Life was simple, man. Honestly, it, it's super weird. The GTA 4s as well. GTA 4. Rem I remember playing GTA 4 for the first time ever, and it felt like real life to me. Think about the idea of the Xbox Store completely shutting down here in one month. But I think part of my fear about this is the games that are going to go away in an all-digital future. Like right now, uh, Forza Horizon 4 is on Xbox Game Pass. They're about to just delete this out of existence. It's just right. going to be gone. It sounds like if you have a physical disc, it will still work. But if you've only ever played Forza 4 on Xbox Game Pass, it's, it's pretty much work? just being completely Damn. eradicated. Damn. What is causing this? I think it's two separate things at once. I think right up front, obviously, people are buying digital more than ever. I, I think the lockdowns, True. the pandemic, a, a lot of people got in the habit of buying games because it is so easy, admittedly, to just buy something digitally and immediately start playing it. But I almost think there's a second part of it, which is the fact that I do think these companies don't want you to actually have infinite access to their games. I think they like the idea that if there's a PlayStation 6, they could just not put a disc drive on it. And even mm. if you have a massive PlayStation 4 collection... I, I think PlayStation 6 might be the last console to have a disc drive but make no mistake they're gonna offer disc version and uh, disc less version I think they're gonna do it if they go in the route of digital only oh that will start WW5 or maybe not even maybe not even right like that's a couple of years away and uh, maybe around that time people would be more used to it so but I think there still would be a little bit of drama but 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 I think it's PlayStation 6 is gonna be the last console to have a disc drive but after that it's like Joe over after that it's done so right Guys, check out this video on the screen because we got some insane drama about Dr. Disrespect. The cops got involved as well. Some people are saying Doc is not guilty. Some are saying it's just over for him. Not sure if you guys were able to see it or not. If you did not see, check it out. If you've seen it, then check out the video on the left.